This is fun. Oh my god, that clamp is stuck in here. That, we're going to have problems getting that piece of plywood off there. So, hey, stay tuned. That's going to be funny. But not as funny as you. Take a look in the mirror if you want to see funny. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm not going to teach you to be trolls anymore. I'm not paid enough. <laughs> wonder why there's two in the grass. It must be that I stayed up till what, 4 o'clock drinking in the bar last night. Mmm, must be. Dr. Oxo took the money. He doesn't do that anymore. these little pieces of scraps and trimmings and then we have them see Whoosh. not to push through the deck up here so here it is it's almost dark but that camera works good don't it I mean, you've got the wrong size brush though we got 24 ounces of this stuff okay you can put that right on that vacuum bagging you don't have to worry about trying to use wax. So there, we'll put that right on there first. Right too. And go ahead and mix the 240 drops or more and find out this stuff will set up in like under 10 minutes. And making it not reasonable for a job like this. Go ahead, just get sick of doing this and pour it all over. You'll see, you'll just have a big spot where you pour it. It takes, oh, it pisses you off. This polyester, but it's the only stuff that is that works on matting. See? Look how much you need, 24 freaking ounces. And it's nice and cool with dark like this. And the sun doesn't touch it. So, you'll read the candle and say, use a sun lamp. And believe me, there's nothing hotter than the freaking sun during the day in summer. So, we don't want to do it during the day. And go ahead, really. Just don't listen to me and go ahead and do everything I told you to do and not do it, you know? And you'll see. In 10 minutes, for you to get it on there, it will be hard. A lot of good that done, you. Yeah? How do I know? I've already did it. So that's what I'm saying. Go ahead, do it then. Some people don't learn until they touch the fire. So now, We've got issues, man. He's got freaking issues. Yeah. He's got freaking issues. Yeah, he does. And you don't, right? See, and there we go. We're gonna put these on. Next. Fill it pieces. No. I call these the Ledgedale batteries. You know? Yeah. Or you can call them whenever you want, but I have a name for every piece. These are called ledge dales. Mm -hmm. So now after you put the ledge dale on, stick the tangle wood on there. See? And the tangle wood, see how it's building it up? 
It's good. Good to go. I put the tangle wood over top the ledge deal battery. Okay. Now we stick another one of the tangle wood. Right. You notice how the tangle wood sticks together with the ledge steel battery. Yeah, that's because they're all in on it together. See, they're all together on that. of these gloves too. That's, uh, they're like tools so you can touch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right along the edge here is where it's really yucky. So he's done it. Mm -hmm. Don't that suck? sucks. And now I have to stick the captured. This is called the captured strip because it captures everything and puts it all together. See? Doesn't matter. You could have put that one on first and the other ones. But uh, I wanted to show you how nice this comes out. And look at that, I used up all 24 ounces, so we're out of business. Not really, we gotta hurry. So, you know, like uh, the, he's mowing his grass. And then I will put this piece at the bottom, see why I'm doing this. is because, because I can. Yeah. So, I can, and you probably can't, even if you're mowing the grass. Yeah, I can mow the grass, though. So you see, I've got the keys to all the mowers. Can't you see that in my video? Certainly. Now, isn't that so nice? Because what we did was use 24 and 12 ounces of this polyester resin. As you can see, it sucks it all up. And what we're doing is fixing this backboard above the galley. And you can see, look, I'm dumping it up. Now, we pick the whole board up, put it on top of this here, before it gets pitch black. And then, we get one of these c cramps ready. And it will go right on there. See? Hopefully. That's all I thought. But it's all too thick. It's already too thick, honey. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna pull these legs up. Divide them up higher with my tools because you know you didn't know that, did you? And then I spread them out a little like that and try it again. And hopefully, we can get this just right so it sticks up. Let's try that one. Because, you know, if I didn't mix it, then it wouldn't have set up or did it dark. 
Do it your way there, professional. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And now we do a slide seat crap on there. And clamp her down, baby. Make sure it's all nice. Isn't it? See, now look at it doing there. Kind of that. So. Hear that? What's that? That noise is a magic sound. I love it. And we have this special drip trough we've made. See? I can't bear to see it anymore. At this point, we can put the drip trough. Things I might say. Understand and tape it together and it'll look very lovely. So now, take the big 12 inch. Wow, these aren't expensive. You get them Harbor Freight for 10 bucks for these. Yeah, sorry, coffee lips. Your timing must have been off, huh? So we like to use these leather gloves, you know, because if you can pick up like a half a dozen of them for like seven bucks of this Harbor Freight and then we just maybe not even find the other glove as long as we got one because this stuff's pretty sharp see how it pulls it right up and look oh my god look at that it's actually brittle I said so because I'm not lying to you that guy he can't do nothing right he's one of those people that has a hard time wiping his ass he's so fat. Yep, and now he sits in his dirty old trailer making those comments. Because, you know, years ago, the internet used to be a good place. You'd get good information. But nowadays, it wasn't going to take long till these rednecks and hillbillies got computers, you know because they don't have nothing, they don't know what they're doing. They're going to make all these stupid comments. It's, you know, nobody really goes over to the dirty old trailer. So, yeah, I got a laptop, 240 bucks I paid for it, and they're probably even cheaper now. So notice how I put the screws on the other side, because the resin, see how it's stripping? It drips all over these screws then right here. And then you'll have to put the uh, paint remover on them to get them out. The way I do it is obviously the smartest way to do it. Let's see here. It's like a pin right there, and then you'll have what's called glass, as in fiber glass in your skin. And I'm pretty sure coffee shits didn't have one, because he don't know what he's talking about. I love people like that. Now see this one is a 12 inch clamp. And I wanted to show you this, just so you don't forget, I taped this uh, blocking on because you can't hold the blocking and the C-clamp and the blocking and then this at the same time, you know. And rather than ask for one of these hillbillies help, that's just to do it yourself around there. But you, see, you read that story about the little red hen, didn't you? It's exactly the way these um, white hillbillies are. Yep. So now, 
Look, that's not coming off. We're in trouble. This is what's called a wall um, flat bar. Stanley wanted the bar. Could be made in USA. I don't really care shit. Stick that up in there and get it to make some weird noises. Be sit and get ready. You'll be the first to see this live. Huh. Really, was that that hard? I didn't have to stand in the video. And. that is. I didn't really do that. That really wasn't me, you see. It's not me, really. Mm -hmm. Somebody else had to do that. Somebody showed him. No, nobody showed me. Go look on the internet to see if they know how to do that. But look at this. They just can't stand it. I'm smarter than them. Look. It's very brittle, this polyester. I'm breaking it off with just my hand. I wish I could get that guy that keeps it in the troll, the glove troll. Why don't you call yourself that on your new channel, the glove troll? He keeps asking me why I wear gloves. That is it, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Ow, that one hurt. Because I'd like to get him to knock this off right here. If I use that, so do I. And I use other things too. Now, why did I do that again? We don't know. We have to sweat and do the show us your face so we can say you look like Mick Gagger or something. <laughs> You think I haven't figured you out there on subs? This is why, like I told you, the idiots stuck that much. They used that silicone for filler, for, you know, like caulk. And it looks shitty. I want a nice clean line up through here. I don't want, like, a big... Let me start from the beginning. Catalina Direct didn't even make it flat. And right there, if you can see through there, the camera might show you that's where the compass was, all that they cut out. And now, all I gotta do is do something, just, just spite them all again. Use my $24 Harbor Freight belt sander and sand it, which is flat. For some reason, they can't do that. They gotta buy some other porter cable junk, <laughs> electric orbital sander. <laughs> Yeah, one of these, it's electrical, so the brushes burn out, and they can send it and get it fixed for another hundred bucks for their... Oh, certainly, you think somebody's going to fix your... I don't know, they could be $700 orbital sanders. Why do they call them orbital sanders? Because they have this counterweight on them right here. See? And it makes them orbit. And I use this... Um, self-adhesive stuff but after a while you got to clean the surface with lacquer thinner or you'll get them just to stick on top of each other so yeah that's another thing go to an auto body shop or ask anyone that's got an estimate you'll see that the estimates will tell you that boy yeah that's polyester that stink Yeah, coffee shits, it just wasn't your day. You've made them comments at the wrong time. So. Yeah. So let's go over and review what we've done. Because I know those trolls just can't even stand me saying a word. They hate me. Go in there, I don't talk. I talk like that, then they like that, see? 
Hey, right. You got to talk like Garth Brooks and stuff and have a big pot belly and go singing with your guitar. See now, see how I see right here. How right here is the thumb. This is all the uh, matting. Polyester now. Coffee shits. See how this comes in and curves? So when I put this piece on, it was not tied up against. Here, you know. Didn't run the edge real nice. That's why I had to build that up that much. That's how much you had it cocked in. And then it comes up to here where it's like really super thin. See right there? That's right. And then it gets wider. And here at the top, believe it or not, look how wide that is. When I sand it down, that's like a freaking half inch thick near the top. So, I mean, it's just not flat. Now, the outside is flat because, you know, they couldn't sell the boat. <laughs> if the first thing you noticed when you looked at the nice teak clappers and you go, oh my God, look at this. There's a, a big gap right in this. There's a big gap right in this side that they all stuffed with the. Uh, you know, dumb dumb cock. <laughs> so, now we've got to do this side the same way. Right here. That there was, uh, you know, the depth sounder, and this one over here was the uh, knot meter. Or was that one the knot meter, and that one the depth sounder? This is really important now because you're going to nitpick me. You filthy troll. And you come on, the rest of you know it's... You get just as pissed off when they piss you off, too. They've actually, It's really sad that they've actually stopped you from making any videos because they're going to piss you off. <laughs> I'm laughing because that's not going to work. I found out, listen, dudes, if they're going through so much trouble to piss you off so you don't make any videos, can you imagine by me making another video how much it's going to piss off coffee shits? Yeah. Now see right here, perfect example. See how I built this up right here, real thick? And then here it almost piddles out to nothing. And this right here where you see that, uh, well, here's the regular fairing compound. If you look where Coffee Shits made his comment. And yes, you can put epoxy over polyester, but you can't put polyester over epoxy. And it's got to be cured pretty good. And nobody really gives you any exact date on curing polyester before you can put it. But it's got to be pretty hard like this. See? And I did the same thing here, too. See how thin this is here? Look at that. Look at that, right here above this line here, okay? It's like so weirdly thin, yet it's real wide here. And then in the middle here, it's only about a, I mean, actually from Catalina, it's only like a half inch thick, right here, see? So I build it up with the polyester matting again, polyester in the matting, and clamped it, like I said, and then I sanded all the rough edges off. But now the sides here, I didn't have to do, they were pretty square, you know? So, here, I just can't, I just can't figure why people just won't admit they're wrong and move forward. You know, they just admit that, hey, Mr. Mitchup, and you're right, that polyester is brittle and cracks and I don't use it anymore except like on the matting you know you're right and then it's called moving forward but you just refuse and that's why America's falling behind